Now to the morning business report. The Christmas ham is going to cost you more this year. And Bank of America warns that the U.S. economy will start to lose 175,000 jobs per month. That's not good. I know. Jane King is live at the NASDAQ with those stories and more. Good morning, Jane. Hi, Wendell well Nicole. Uh, good morning to you. The latest jobs report. In fact, we get a new jobs report tomorrow, so I'm sure we'll talk about that tomorrow. But it shows that the U.S. labor market is in decent shape, but Bank of America sees trouble looming. Now, during the first quarter of 2023, the bank projects the U.S. will lose about 175,000 jobs a month. <clears throat> the bank also says they expect a recession in the first half of 2023. Well, the cost of a Christmas ham, like most everything else, will be higher this year. The Bureau of Labor Statistics says the average price of ham is currently $5.65 per pound. Last year, it was $4.83 per pound. Now, when compared to 1978, the price of ham is 180% higher. And a four-day work week turns out may not be bad for business. After six months, most of the 33 companies and 900 work workers that have been doing this schedule on a trial basis with no reduction in pay are unlikely ever to go back to a standard work week. That's according to the organizers of this global pilot program. Now, the trial was also good for company earnings. Average revenue rose 38% compared to last year. And we can call it the Powell Pop. The Dow shot up more than 700 points as the Fed Chair Jerome Powell indicated a slowdown in interest rate hikes. The Nasdaq was up 4.5% today kind of a holding pattern. We're pretty quiet, maybe waiting on those jobs and numbers tomorrow. Live from the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King, back to you. Jane, I saw those numbers this morning. I almost fell off my chair. <laughs> I know, me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, 6.15. Uh, let's take